You know, our, our preparation has been very similar to normal road trips. So it's it's been um, actually the exact same schedule. We just pick up an extra day down there. So everything's been right on target. The goal line stand where you stopped Jameis was one of the few fourth and short situations where you guys have gotten yourselves off the field. you take a particular level of pride seeing you guys step up in those, in those moments? You know, I was... We were happy because we executed it and, 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 and guys made, made, made plays. But um, there was... I guess there was an excitement because we stopped them, but at that, at that point in the game, it was. At that point in the game, we're, the staff were thinking, okay, we got off the field, what do we need to correct? Because we knew it was going to be a war. Eric talked about you guys want to force uh, their quarterback to make quick decisions. How important will that be? Uh, uh, excuse game? me, say it again? Forcing their quarterback to make quick decisions. How important will that be um, in this game? You know, I think their quarterback is really talented. It's, you know, you keep, you keep hearing that it's, it's the third quarterback, but I think they have a, ter a terrific system, and I think that they have the quarterbacks for that system. So I don't think there's gonna. I think they'll be fine at quarterback. Uh, you know, for us, we, we've got to do a good job of, as always, mixing up what we're doing, and um, you know, rotating coverages and changing up where we're coming from. And then obviously, if we, if we can get a, if we can get a beat in the game on something, we want to try to lock in on that. The defense has played. I thought at, at a real high level at Pac-12, in fact, I didn't think it could get any better, and then it did in the, in the Rose Bowl. Can you talk a little bit, is it fair to say that there has been an evolution or a growth that could be charted from August to January 1st? You know, the, 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 de the development and continued development of, of, our, of our defense is, is linked to a couple things. But number one, uh, primarily, is we're continue, we have continued as coaches to preach the exact same thing. So you know, the fundamentals, the tackling, the leverage, and the communication. You know, I think what's happened over the course of the season is that we've continued to have some success. As coaches, we've been able to point out the success and how we got there, and the kids have bought in. And now the practices are getting better, and then you see the evidence on the field. I think it's, it's been a product of us continuing to stay the course. And continuing in that vein, when, when Tony Washington had the foul and he got the penalty, and then he had such a great game with the season <coughs> score, at the Rose Bowl, is it, do you rip a guy when he makes a mistake, or are you sensitive and nurturing and supportive, or how do you how do you keep a guy like him in the game? He also had that tackle on fourth down. How do you keep him from collapsing, or do you have to build him back up? You know, with your players, you know, there's going to be ups and downs, and when guys make mistakes, you know, you have to evaluate what type of mistake. You know, there's, there's, some, there's some penalties that aren't, there's some penalties that you can accept, there's some penalties that you can't accept, and obviously, you know, early on, that, that penalty that Tony had was one that we couldn't accept. Personally, I didn't have to discipline because the world did. You know, by, by the time we got off the field, I mean, the world, he knew. And so um, it was a matter of just keeping his head focused on the next game and how to, how to handle that situation when it occurred again. And, and uh, Tony dug his way out of it, got his head up, and, and um, it's, it's, it was used as a lesson for everybody because, you know, you know, there's, there's players always coming in, young players coming in, older players going out, so you always try to share the experience with everyone to, to, to better the team. Would you say that's remarkable for Oregon's defense or typical for Oregon's defense? I'm sorry, which? The, the, the way he handled it, the way you guys handled it, and the improvement that, you showed, that he showed and that the defense has shown. That you know, I, I think that improvement is what we're looking for. I think I think that's what we would like to build on is, is guys, you know, making mistakes and then growing and from that and then, you know, Becoming better players and better people, and, and then lifting this program up. And then for me, finally, Ohio State. What do you see? How do you, how do you, see, how do you defend them? How do you beat them? Well, Ohio State, um, solid across the board. I mean, there's no, there's no weaknesses. Uh, tremendous offensive line. Probably the best receivers we've seen. Uh, and a very exciting running back who's really, really good. Breaks tackles. He does a great job of blocking. Uh, the tight ends are big. They catch the ball when they need to, but they're great blockers. And the quarterback, you know, in that system, you know, the quarterback is the benefactor of a lot of great players around him. So there's not, I don't think there's a ton of stress on him to make a lot of plays because there's so many playmakers around him. They have a great scheme. I, I, there's a reason why they're in this game. They're really good. They have a great running game. They have some great schemes. I mean, they, they, it's, which you, when you first put the film on, you look at it and go, oh, that's just – X play, and then when you start watching, like no, no, they're they're doing some things that make X play work, and, and they they've got a great system. So it's exciting opportunity. The thing that we have to do, it's what we've been preaching on. We have to do a great job at the line of scrimmage.
and then it, we have to read our keys and guys got to separate and get off the blocks. And then we have to have a convoy to the ball because when that ball gets on the perimeter, those backs, if, if, if you let them through the line of scrimmage, they can go the distance. Same thing, if you let a receiver catch a hitch and there's no one there, those guys can go the distance. So we've got to do a great job with our fundamentals. What makes you believe, Don, that they will do that? Why will Oregon beat Ohio State? I haven't said <laughs> that. That's You said that. I didn't. What we're looking for, we're looking for Oregon to play the best game. And, you know, we're going to base us playing our best game on how we prepare. And the preparation thus far has been as good or better than it's been. So if we can continue that the, the next four, three or four days, whatever that is, then we'll walk on and feel very confident that we can execute and play our best game. And, and that's, that's what it's about. It's about playing our best game. Are you allowing yourself or your players any time to think, um, you know, beyond the business aspect of this, to think, this is exciting, we're playing for a national championship? Or, or not yet? My approach, I, I would say our staff's approach is the same approach as Ben. You know, I, it may be different for the players because they're, they're only with us a certain amount of the day. And I'm sure family and friends, and, and if they're watching a lot of TV, I'm, I'm sure they're hearing a lot of other things. But for us, it's, it's the next game. It's the last game. And we want to prepare and play our absolute very best. We need to leave our best on the field. Did you, do you ever allow yourself, after you've left the office, when you're walking out the car and things, do you ever allow yourself to soak in that moment that Oregon has made it back to the national title game? Not at all. Not at all. Oregon needs to play their best football. And, I, and I'm being honest, I'm, I'm, I, I refuse to do it. Did you get I a new suit? Did you get a new suit for the game? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I have a couple in the closet that, that are relatively new. Coach, we hear a lot of that, That's Excuse me, that's pretty fun. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I really do. Yes, sir. Coach talked about how close this team is, how special this team is. What makes this group of guys so close, so special? You know, I, I think uh, uh, you know every, every year in January it's a new team, and so you go through the process as coaches of trying to determine leaders, and you do a bunch of exercises, and, and uh, go through Matt Drew, you go through some tough exercises, and try to see who's gonna who's gonna come to the front, and then you continue to coach as, as coaches to push everyone, and then it, it just happens. You know, it's. It's hard to put your finger on exactly what it is that makes them so close, but this unit is a lot closer than a lot of teams we've had, and I think, I'm sure a lot of our success is in part to that. Don, when people talk about Oregon's culture, what, what do you think that is? You know, some people think of the uniforms or the offense, but what, what does that bring to mind for you? You know, I would say our, our culture starts with Coach Helford. He does a tremendous job of, of challenging our men to be men, to be grown up, <laughs> to get up, to do little things, make up your bed, to do all those things. And then he, he speaks, uh, he addresses the team in a, in a fashion that, that they are, they are, we are a family, his family, and this is what family members do. And we, I think we have, a, said, I know we have the right kids because those kids buy in and do it. And so it's, 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 it's comes from the top and all of us, you know, we have a lot of the same, we have, we have a lot of same values and beliefs as coaches. And we have players that buy into to what we're doing and we have the right kids that, that what we're saying means a lot to them. And so I think that's what, what's at the essence of our culture. Coach, you've, you've always kind of been ahead of the curve here in taking care of players and trying new things. How do you guys keep them fresh this week with an unprecedented schedule, an unprecedented team? You know, Coach Helfrich, uh, from the beginning of the season, I mean, how would I say this? He's had a plan. You know, he, he has, he's, he's really organized. But there, there's been a plan from, from August all the way in, until this game. And, you know, it tapers back. So some of the activities taper back. This, you know, at some point, next couple of days are probably less physical, more mental. But he, he has it all tapered out. And then it's connected to the to Coach Radcliffe and how much we do and what we do for recovery, the nutrition. It's, it's a whole plan. And we believe in it. It's been successful. It's been been very successful to this point. So we believe it's going it's to get us where we need to be in this game. Will they get any extra time off when you get to Dallas? Or is it the same schedule once you get there? Same, you know, we get to Dallas, I think we're only there for three days or two, three days and we play. And so I think the schedule is going to remain the same. We're going to stay, we're going to continue our routine. Is this team or program more ready for this now than we were four or five years ago? That, that's a tough question to answer because uh, four or five years ago we were a different team. I mean, we were totally different. The defense is different. The offense was kind of different. There was different leadership, uh, not only on the field, but but at the top. So it's hard, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, my role has changed. I know that. I'm more ready. I understand, you know, I, I feel more comfortable now than last time, but 
the last time we were in this game, I was in a different role. Back then, did it seem like that everything was still happening very quickly? I mean, you guys had so much success kind of rapidly coming. Was, was the program ready for it quite yet back then? Oh, I think so. You know, I, I think so. I think we went in and played a terrific, terrific game. We had a couple opportunities to win the game uh, and didn't make two or three plays. So I, I think um, the previous time we, we had a shot, and I, and I think we have a shot this time. You're a man with a great sense of style. Are you okay with gray uniforms? I whatever we wear, I'm, I'm okay with any uniform. Yeah. You know, I, I just want to get the, get out there and, and get our best performance.